hello engineers welcome to civil nirman so here we are again back with a small tip based on students query so many a time students have asked me sir how we can work out the weight of the structure in this stat output so let's understand this through a small example as you can observe over here i have one small cable tray structure which is already modeled and applied with some load let me just show you so here is the cable stay structure and i have implemented few loads over here that is the dead load and live load in this dead load we have considered the self weight of the structure and few cable tray weights which are implemented on this members right live load is also there now see one of the simple way to work out the weight of the structure is create a load case that only contains self weight okay in the load items which is acting globally in the y direction now make sure that this self weight should be assigned to a whole structure and none of the members should left otherwise it will not consider the weight right and you can simply run the analysis and check out weight of the structure as you can observe over here currently i have this 10 kg per meter cable tray load additionally so what i can do i can just hide this or you can cross verify as well so whatever the cable tray load that you have implemented you can just simply deduct it that so let's just hide this just to show you an example so i'll hide this cable tray load now i'll just simply run the analysis now if you check out the loading part so in the dead load case i have only self weight okay so now i'll run the analysis so let's go for the analysis so this is the first way right so once you run the analysis you can go to the post processing mode now once you go to the post processing mode here you have all the results for your displacement reactions and beam results everything right so i'll go to the reaction part now in the reaction part i have this bottom table with static check results so here you can observe the fy load value for the first load case that is the dead load and in dead load we have only considered the self weight so 39.477 is the weight that you can work out so this is the weight of the structure so in the post processing mode in the node reaction page and this is the lower right corner right where the static check results are available from here you can work out your weight of the structure another important point now the same this particular information can be obtained by specifying the print static check result in the output sorry in the editor okay so i'll just show you over here so in the perform analysis part you can write it down as print let me just write it in caps lock print static check now this option with the analysis command the total applied load from each primary load case will be displayed in the output file okay so i'll just save it now let's run it again so what i was saying the total applied load from the each primary load will be displayed in the output file and the load for the self weight load case will be the weight of the structure right so that is the second way you can check this out so here you can observe 39.48 right now apart from this there is one another trick as well let me just show you so i'll go to the output part and before finish command i'll enter print cg now basically it will print cg of the whole structure and additionally it will give you the weight of the structure as well so that is the second method that you can implement to work out the weight of the structure so i have already added print cg command so i'll just show you how it will look so i'll go to the post processing mode or you can check out in the utility tab in the output file over here the cg operation is performed right so when you click on the cg it will give you the coordinates 
for the CG part of your whole structure and it will give you the self weight as well right so the self weight is written over here in terms of kg that is 4025.55 kg now there is a slight variation because of the conversion from kn to kg you can simply check out that too okay so that's how you can work out weight of the structure now let's understand what if I have that particular cable tray load how can I identify right now let's just switch on the load I'll uncomment this okay so you can observe 0.1 kn per meter load is already implemented over here right sorry that is 10 kg per meter right so 10 kg per meter load is implemented now let's check this out what is the length right so I'll check out the length so see if I talk about this three tiers first second third on each tier that is the length is one meter right so I can work out the total load so that will be the load of cable tray right and I can simply deduct this particular from the static check as well to get the weight of the structure so that's the other way now see here it's a small structure stat file right so here I can easily do it but if you have multiple loads then it will be a little bit difficult right so by keeping only the self weight in the load case you can quickly identify the load now let's just understand what if I have this particular load whether I'm able to identify the total weight of the structures or not so see you can observe on three tiers with one meter length the 10 kg per meter load is implemented and you can observe how many number of tiers are there so for this particular let me just identify one two three four five six total six number of members on each segment we have three so six into three eighteen right so let me just show you here so my cable tray will be cable tray weight will be 10.197 kg per meter into 3 into 6 so 183.546 kg will be the weight of the cable tray now you can simply deduct this particular weight from the static reaction part so you will easily get the weight of the structure so let's just run the analysis and check it out so I'll go to the post processing mode I'll go to the reaction tab now if you check out over here 41.27 kn is the weight right now see 41.27 is the total weight in the first dead load in the dead load we have two loads right first one was the self weight and another one was the cable tray weight so what was the cable tray weight uh, we have worked out the cable tray weight 183.546 kg or 1.83 kn so if I deduct this 1.83 kn from 41.277 I'll get the actual weight of the structure which is verified with the actual output right so that's how you can work out weight of the structure so now I hope now you are aware how you can work out self weight of a particular structure and even if you have multiple loads you can identify weight of the structure now share this video to all the beginners who are beginning their career in the civil engineering and especially in the structural engineering field don't just learn software learn concepts stay tuned with us we are bringing more such short tips for you